you already know all things sports and entertainment so rapper young thug pled guilty and um he was sentenced now he is free he is free and i'm gonna post this article uh in the, in the description by nbc and it's saying that whitaker page whitaker who was the judge in young thug uh trial now i know previously he had a different j judge but his lawyer somehow got that uh where they switched judges or the his previous judge was removed but it says whitaker sends him to 40 years that would have forced him to serve five years in prison but she commuted it to time served. In addition, he must complete 15 years of probation, which can result in 20 years to be served in custody if probation is not successful. She also put several restrictions on him, including barring travel in Metro Atlanta and no contact with affiliate gang members. Said he must perform community service including doing presentations to community groups and children against gang violence. Quote, this is what she had to say to him during sentencing. There better be no vi no violations, but if there are any, you're coming back to see me. So basically, you know what I'm saying? Everybody's celebrating he's free, uh, all the rappers, all the who's who. And uh, even though that he won't be sitting behind bars, you know, the sad thing about this is just for the system in general, is that Young Thug is going to be in the system for another 15 years. To me, I got 15 years probation. And uh, per, I seen some tweets from academics, and uh, I believe academics said that he's banned from Atlanta for 10 years. He can't come to Atlanta for 10 years, and that's to do four annual anti-gang presentations. You know, now was it worth him sitting in jail? No, you know what I mean. But while he's free. Let me tell you what the system's doing. All he got to do is make one mistake and they're going to throw the book at him. You know, um, look at OJ, for example. You remember OJ got off free and, you know, everybody was celebrating. But then when that whole incident went down with his uh, memorabilia, a lot of people thought that OJ got way more time. Now, you know, they, they waited, you know what I'm saying? And, 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 the, and the moment he got in trouble, it was a wrap. So, hey, as long as Thug come home, make positive music, try to grow, I'm sure he'll be out the streets. I mean, you didn't see what unfortunately happened with Lil Durk, uh, Diddy, and, and every, so on and so forth, Quando Ronda. Listen, uh, NBA Young Boy, the feds, they're trying to make an example out of rap music. Clearly, I mean, they, they didn't make enough money to where they're like, look, it's time to to go after them and, and it ain't it ain't worth it it's not worth it you know what i mean so it's unfortunate that per the da people somebody's lost their life dealing with this whole thing and um, even with the whole gang culture man it don't make any sense we promote gangs more than we do promoting reading books or you know we should promote fraternities you know what i mean more hot more than or they're promoting this gang culture i've been down here in atlanta a long time and i've seen just how the city has changed um now have most cities always had it good and bad yeah but when it comes to being online being on the internet and it's so crazy that like i said we celebrate becoming gang members more than than students you know the scholars so you know but we'll have to see but i just want to get my quick thoughts about it uh, tell me what y'all think